hello youtube i hope everybody's doing great tonight you can see the time it's my uh, normal working time when everything is quiet in the house not that i don't work during the day but anyway um best to make the videos at night and i just wanted to show off some products that i finished for shipping and uh, let me start from the left this is my version of a retro clock using these beautiful Hewlett Packard made uh, I don't even know how many segments there are but more than seven usually a seven segment LED is used for numbers but this these can also as you just saw uh, display um, letters and this is my retro clock Peter this is yours ready to ship I received two more of these HP up there called um, HP DL 1414 uh, segment displays these are old stock they are not produced anymore so they're getting harder and harder to come by the prices are going up and up and up <clears throat> anyway i have two more for next clock if anybody's interested leave me a comment or go check out my tinder store where you can get these and uh, these are the new pcbs i actually updated them to use the bigger <clears throat> um what was the chip called the 3231 no 3231 ds rtc chip the big one uh it says here right there i oh, know it's just a number anyway sorry about that so they are very very accurate with the other ones it's a hit and miss i had to exchange the chips to find one that works nicely or is accurate anyway this is your clock peter hope you will enjoy it i did enjoy making them anyway that's that and this is my humidity plus temperature that i did while back and that's that and this is my newest artificial horizon and enrico these are yours also ready to ship and i will ship them out tomorrow and uh, i kind of like the artificial horizon attitude indicator it's also called ai and uh, on off switch charging port obviously has a battery in it if you guessed it and it shows pitch and angle So anyway, I really do like this one. On this one, you don't have to do anything. You just, when it's off, you put it on a, wherever you mount it on a level place, turn it on. It does calibrate itself. And then shows the artificial horizon. Very simple. This one is a little bit more involved, but easy as well. All of buttons on the bottom. I just cut my nails for the video. <laughs> so anyway, turn it on. And here you can adjust your pressure. This is the regular sea level pressure. Just temperature. And here you can adjust it. Once you have adjusted it, you push the button. <coughs> Excuse me. And then you have the display. It displays the voltage, the pressure meter, the elevation, the altitude, not elevation, and the temperature again. And this one is now, I have to look around the, this is the QANH setting. And then you press the button, it changes to the 
Q and E setting. And here you can adjust for your, or was it the other one? I'm sorry, not aviation expert. Here you can adjust for your actual pressure because it does change with uh, altitude and uh, the weather situation. And once you adjust it, it just adjusts the altimeter, the altitude as well. And this is it. And Rico, sorry, it took a bit longer. I had problem getting the sensor. I bought, I made an extra video and I showed it to you, Enrico. You're the only one that picked up the link. I was pretty upset. I spent $30 on a sensor, just a sensor. $30 and then it was a fake one. Instead of the MPU 9250, it was the MPU 6050, which does a hand, doesn't have a magnetometer in and you cannot build an attitude indicator without it. So then I had to order it from China, from a big company, because I didn't trust in the Aliexpress sellers, because 99% those were gonna be fake as well. So I ordered from a big company, cost more, but it took time a little bit, of course, to get here from China, but it works. Anyway, and these are just some older projects that I built. This one has the weather, uh, the time and the weather. Does it have the weather? Yeah, temperature and humidity. That's actually a uh, example code from the T TFT ESPI library from Bodmer. Thank you very much for the great library. I'm almost using it in all my products or most of them. And this is a view meter. And you can see that it goes up and down with my voice. And this little guy here is over my V8 animated engine. Adam, I hope you're enjoying yours on your shelf. <laughs> it shows the time and the date and it has the animation and the firing sequence of a V8. And this is a ready board to make fabs. That's a single digit Nixie clock that I make and that's a four digit. And that's just the ESP. <clears throat> well, my board ESP with a 1.69 inch display with these beautiful rounded corners just looks very very nice and that's uh, connected to my ESP but it's off right now and during the night it doesn't show much anyway so this is it um, as I said Enrico sorry for the delay but if you make something custom and uh, problems do arise and I had to print that back case three times well, not counting the test versions. And uh, here they are. And I have a slide switch here, which gets slid in here, here. And to make sure that it's not gonna come out, I used a little bit of super glue. And even though the switch is still working, oh, actually it's, fa <laughs> it's not working anymore. Uh, and this one I had to bang it out and then I had to reprint this thing because I didn't want to send out a messed up thing and this one just glued again to the position <laughs> this one was moving but not making contact anymore so I did a third third one and uh, used uh, hot glue to keep it I mean it's, it's stiff in there but if you would press like that you would be able to push it in with force so that time I used uh, as I said hot glue so it will not come loose anyway these are the small things you have to deal with custom work but um, I do love custom work it's always nice to create something new and I'm working with a client of mine on a new product for him and I might make a spin-off of it but uh, that's still in the works. And uh, anyway, um, I hope you like this. Oh, this is my keychain. You must have seen it before. I showed it many, many times. And for all the Chrysler 300C lovers out there, 
this is your keychain come and get it and this is also let me turn along real quick my police light with the acrylic somebody asked me if he can buy the just acrylic i said yes send me an email didn't hear from him but in case you're watching it you can also get just the acrylic if you want to make the pcb yourself or use some other leds in it or whatever so let me know and um, some of these products are custom made and not in my tindy shop obviously like this ultimator or is it i don't remember but this one is not and this one is not either retro clock you can find there and if you want to support me please if you like the video of course click the like button and you can subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to see any future videos or wonder about my future products uh, projects and you can go check out my tindy store maybe you find something to buy and i will also again put a i think maybe probably put a banggood affiliate link uh, a general affiliate link in the description and uh, although they drop me they don't support me no more but you can still get a affiliate and <coughs> You can even, if you want to, become a Patreon. Uh, I still have only five, so <laughs> no change there. And um, yeah, if you like it, as I said, and thanks for watching and take care, everybody.